there's enough Christmas tunes at the moment. Welcome to another video. Thanks for tuning in again. I'm off today to meet up with someone, placing myself entirely into their hands. Ooh, what the heck? I'm gonna meet up with this sensational powerhouse of a trail runner. His YouTube channel name and Instagram channel handle is Squattle. S-C-W-H-A-T-L. Today I'm meeting up with him over at Undulla. You heard me right. Undulla, mate. That's behind uh, Jimboomba Flagstone area. Uh, he knows the area like the back of his hand all these trails out there so looking keen to going out there for a run he's going to lead the way and uh, i'm going to follow and if i'm being completely honest i have to admit that i'm kind of nervous uh if not even intimidated because squaddle is a powerhouse of a trail runner um hopefully he's going to bring along his dog i think the dog's called paw or paw paw uh dog goes running with him everywhere dogs even more of a powerhouse runner than than him so he reached out and said hey let's do a half marathon um, I think I can manage that I put myself through the paces this week uh, trying to train up for it I did a 25 and a half K run this week which I'm kind of proud of but I was annihilated the next day as a result however I did it I think I can do 20 21 K's with uh, Squaddle I just uh, hope I can keep up I don't know, that's to be seen. Undala uh, Tracks, also known as Wyatt Road Tracks, and there's a lot of uh, dirt bike riders, four wheel drivers out there, who knows, we might come across some. There's also a few other little sites that Squaddle has come across, you know, cars that have been um, abandoned. There's certain old, old cattle stations, like it's called Monarch Glen, and certain other areas and campsites which I haven't seen yet. So I'm hoping he's going to take me around and show me the sites. I'm pretty excited to be honest. So stick around. Let's see how I go on this run with Squaddle. I hope he's patient with me. Uh, we will see, and I hope you enjoy the video. Alright, I'm here with the one and only Squaddle, the king of Mandala. We are off on our half marathon. I'll try to keep up. And we've got Paws just up ahead there, leading the way. Looking after all the, uh, I don't know, bike riders. Yeah. See how we go. What the heck? Oh, he it. <laughs> He's already into it. He can't get enough. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Yeah, is that the red one? Yeah, that's it. Oh, okay. We've come to some sort of a half quarry thing. Some digging there. Some, it looks like some four wheel drives have been trying to make it up there. Walking gives us a little chance to uh, catch our breath going uphill. No motorbikers yet. Yeah. Not that we've come across. Uh, we saw the vans. So oh, yeah, yeah. They, they're in here. Motorcycles are coming by. Yeah, sure. But lately, I, I feel like. Here we've come to a nice little campsite. Geez, they really wanted to burn everything, didn't they? <laughs> oh, yeah, poor chair. chair. Thank you. Yeah. A bit of a view from over to those ridges. Recharged. That's, sometimes that's all you need, eh, to recharge. Just oh, a yeah. slight little break. <laughs> oh, wow. There's a lot of red lines there, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Is so that you going over and over and over? Yeah, probably so. <laughs> so we've done that dark blue. Oh, yeah. We okay. started here and now we're... Now we're here where the dot is, and the Electra... Oh, okay, we're going to cross over there. So. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Uh, Cattle Station, Electra, Jeep, and then come Can't wait back to see home. the Jeep. You know what I really like seeing? You sweating. Because <laughs> I thought, uh, <laughs> I, I thought you were like a, you know, superhuman, but it's good to see you like the rest of us oh, <laughs> just yes, sweating. Yeah. We're 5.4 kilometers now. We've done uh, basically a quarter. Jeez, oh, this is so hard. I'm just waiting for Chad to slip somewhere. <laughs> Jeez, look at this. Yeah. Not many cars out this way. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Going, it's climbing high. Hopeful wants it. You're gonna get the goenna. Yeah. 
All right, we are 8.9 k's in and uh, just come up onto just a nice campsite here. What a view. So there's a big storage container here. Let's have a look. Oh, this is like five star. So we've got a nice, <laughs> it looks like a, a double, <laughs> a, uh, almost a queen size mattress here. Hang on, we've got a toilet here. Just no water tank, which is obviously here. Oh, I love it. This is like a open air, open view policy here. There's no door. There was a door. I think it's over here now. They've ripped it off. Oh, right. A fresh roll of toilet paper. Oh, does it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's nice. Look at the campsite, hey? Who gives a crap <laughs> Who gives a crap? I love it. You've got a contained fireplace yeah. and the view. We are at 11 and a half kilometers and here we've come to a, a pig trap. It's obviously not effective this one at the moment, but look, I think that would push in. In they go. See the, the pigs, like these two. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Hey, poor. Hungry? <laughs> look at that. You You're right though, from up at the top there, there's a really nice view yeah, of Brisbane out there. Yeah, it's good. Oh, I love it. So what do you say this is called? An Electra. Yeah. See here. Ah, oh, right. Yeah. Electra yeah. Jeep. Mm. I mean, it was in pristine condition when it first got here. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, oh like so not, it's been not a, not a scratch on it. Oh. So just over time, yep. people have just uh, damaged it more and more. Mm. It was real shiny when I first found it. And brand new. What a shame. Must have been Look at these trees falling over this creekway. Fifteen and a half k's. This, so this is the Glen. Hang on, Monarch Glen Station. Oh. Bit of a cattle station here back in the day. Did a video once back there, where it shows like a shelter back there. Still pretty much the same. Chad's uh, really making me run for dear life on this one. <laughs> Taking me up some massive, massive hills. Cool campsite, I've liked that Jeep. I've liked the uh, campsite we stopped at. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously good stopping back here. But that hill that you took me up that just before that campsite, that was a, that was a killer. A killer yeah. <sighs> Popo, how you going? Popo really, um, really respects his master. It's really good to see. So obedient and just totally looks after Chad the whole way. It's really, really cool. Whew, we are at 18.66 k's. Almost there. And we come to sort of like a little shelter. Campsite slash lean-to. Four-wheel drive club, dirt bike riders retreat. Yeah, it's quite amazing. We, we haven't actually run into any bikers. We can hear them uh, or any four-wheel drive. It's because I'm running with you, Chad. Be it. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling it at the moment, so I'm hoping to make it back to the car. We we'll, might hit 20 k's, we'll see. Here we are, 19.64 on mine. What's yours? 19.5 on 19.5 on yours. <laughs> oh. we, we didn't do the full 21, that's my, my fault. <laughs> Fun <laughs> running with, uh, with Paw Paw and obviously, obviously Chad, it was awesome. Not tired at all, are ya? <laughs> Thank you for watching the video, just as always, and uh, check out Chad's channel on YouTube and, uh, and Instagram. It was a privilege to run with him today, and a privilege to run with Paul. Check out his Strava channel. Yeah, he's got, he's got an account. He, yeah. He's got an account. He's a local legend of the tracks, no yeah. doubt. <laughs> Thank you to Chad for uh, running with me and uh, inviting me out, and uh, catch you on the next one.